Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and it is mailbag time. This is where I get to answer all y'all's questions. So if you watch our live shows on Tuesday, friendly reminder, we go live every single Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. So all the questions you see on screen are going to be from that day. How do you make sure you never miss them? Subscribe and turn on your notifications. Let's go to the first question coming in here from Brandon Jasper. I like what I saw from Tyron in the Hall of Fame game. Is DeMarcus out the door? DeMarcus right now I actually think is battling for the wide receiver five spot with Tyron Johnson. Because personally, I wasn't impressed by Tyron Johnson. He had some glowing moments where he played well in special teams. Yes, he had two catches for 39 yards. But the reason why the Raiders should keep Tyron Johnson is that speed. That downfield threat. Jared sit him through a freaking dime right in the lap of Johnson. And he dropped a 40-yard ball. Might have been a touchdown. If that's in a regular season game, that's obviously a much bigger deal. But the fact that he dropped that ball, that's the reason why he would stay with the team. I, I was not all that impressed from Tyron Johnson, but I also was not all that impressed by Demarcus Robinson or Matt Collins for that matter. But it's preseason. Well, let's go to Raider 508. Donald Penn had us going 13-4, and four, splitting the division, and the fourth loss to New England. We better beat New England. Man, we better beat New England. I definitely hope so. It's going to be an interesting game to monitor near the end of the season. I believe that game is what? Uh, let me check my phone. I think it's week 15, I believe, is when that game is. But you're right. I, this is a Raiders team. And I got my – you see my background? It's kind of hard to see because it's a green screen. But it's the Raiders' schedule there. Yeah, week 15 against New England. We better come away with a win. Let's go to Matt. I thought it said pissing. So what is going on with Sue? And Dominican is a veteran. I get that a lot of y'all want something to happen. I want something to happen because if the Raiders get in Dominican Sue, I'm going to go live. I'm going to maybe even shave my face to a foo man in Dominican Sue. I just know that the Raiders have a need at DT. I think that he's being a little bit patient right now. He has come out and said that the Raiders would be interesting. He's still messaging people on Twitter about the Raiders. So there's interest there. And I know the Raiders are still looking at defensive tackle. They just didn't get Danny Shelton. So what do you think about Indomitian and Sue, y'all? Should the Raiders sign him? Type S for sign. Type P for pass. If you're wondering why am I asking you, it's what the Raiders report's about. It's about that conversation. It's about sitting down at the dinner table talking as a family. It's about being at that bar while you're having a few drinks with your buddy talking about Raiders topics. So that's what I want you to do in my comment section. S for sign, P for pass. Should the Raiders go out and get and Dominic and Sue. All right, this one's coming in from Hank Flesher. Will Malcolm Koontz have a breakout year? Breakout year is a little bit of a strong word. I do think, though, he could be a sleeper. And what do I mean by that? To me, Koontz played well. He looked like a good edge rusher in that Hall of Fame game. Got good bend, got good speed. He, to me, is built more like an outside linebacker in a 3-4 defense, more so than being a 4-3 defensive end. So when they went to Patrick Graham, when they went with that system, I got excited because I want to see Koontz go. He also has some extra opportunity. If Cleveland Furl continues to show that he can't stay healthy or he's not that guy, then after... Max, after Chandler Jones, next up in line is Malcolm Koontz because of the injury to Kyler Fackrell. So breakout year, no. I do think he has a better year than he did last season. What I'm hoping for is if he can be somewhere around 25 tackles, if he can get the four sacks, get some extra QB pressures, then I think it's a pretty good second year there for Malcolm Koontz. What up, Raider Man Zero one. Remember, y'all, in these mailbags to skip the line to make sure you get on the screen. Super Chat, Mitch, did you ever get your Adams jersey? Just win, baby. You know what's kind of sad about this? No, I have yet to get it. Um, I'm still waiting on my jersey for Devontae Adams. I, I ordered a white one. We'll see if it ends up coming in the mail because I got my black Derek Carr jersey. So then I wanted the white Devontae Adams one, which I could wear for the road games. But I'll tell you what, hopefully someday it'll come back in the mail. If you guys want to get a Devontae Adams jersey, you can go to chatsports.com slash Raiders jerseys where we got not only Adams, we got a bunch of jerseys available. That link's available for you all in the comments and uh, description of today's video. Let's go to Bullies. It's a no, no-brainer if Carr is important, then we need to protect him. O-line, major need to show up off our weapons. Yeah, I, you spent a lot of money on Hunter. You spent a lot of money on Derek Carr. You spent a lot of money on... 
Uh, Devontae Adams, if you can't block, it doesn't really matter. So the right side of the offensive line, it is a concern for me. And John Simpson is good in the running game. I don't think John Simpson is very good in the pass blocking game. So we'll see what ends up happening. And a lot of times I get it that coaches want to be optimistic, right? This is the time of the season where everyone's in the best shape of their life. This player looks incredible. Oh, this guy is going to have a breakout year. But really when it comes down to it, I mean, look at all the reports that were out there from Brandon Parker. Brandon Parker's footwork's quicker. He's going to be perfect in this Cameron Brasillo or Carmen Brasillo blocking scheme. And then what happened? He played. <laughs> and then you saw what happened. It was not pretty whatsoever. Let's go to Super Chat coming in from Coxie Pup. Mitch, can you start breaking down game film during a show weekly? We need a real one, just a thought. The issue with game film is people who share game film, a lot of times you can't, well, I'm just going to be honest, you can't make money off of those shows, and when you can't make money off of shows, i got to pay for lights, i got to pay Jeremy so he can put food on his table, and also people who put out game film, it's you can't do that always because the NFL owns it and they can take down a YouTube channel. So for me, I get that people do that, but that's not worth the risk because I do this for a job, and this is how I put food on my table, a roof over my head. So I'm probably not going to do that for the simple fact of you can get your YouTube channel taken down. And that, sorry, it's just it's not worth it to me, man. All right, y'all, remember, if you want extra testosterone in your life to make sure that you're working out a little bit better, improve that sex drive, and make you feel like you're 20 years old again, go to pandasups.com, use promo code TEST to get 20 five percent off the reason you're trying to work out you want to get rid of that extra belly fat testosterone boosters are a great way to do that and panda subs just launched a brand new one i've been using this product the last three days and i'm going to be honest man i've been killing my workout sessions so if you're looking for a natural way to build muscle strength improve sex drive and increase energy levels Welcome the all-new Panda Test. Panda Test uses clinically dosed ingredients to naturally boost free testosterone levels and reduce stress hormones. So if you're interested, scan that QR code right there. It's going to take you right to Panda Sup's new brand new test booster and use code TEST to save 25% off at pandasups.com. Super Chat time from Jose Delgado. I laid on the show. It's all right, man. Mitch, the McDaniel is going to protect D.C. on the offensive line with our D.C. this season. It's over. How many just win babies you give the Raiders to get the offensive right tackle we need? Is that what you're saying? I'm going to give it two just win babies. I think it's a coin flip at this current point. The Raiders need extra offensive line talent. What I don't know if it's going to be a guy like Darrell Williams. Is it going to be somebody like, I don't know, an extra depth player because you lost Brandon Parker for the season. Do I have confidence in Patrick Graham? Yes. That defense looked legit against the Jags. Again, it's against the Jags, against Jake Lutton. But we also see reports from camp that they are locking up a lot of these receivers that the defense plays well, and they continue to play well. Like Crosby's dominated against the offensive line. Patrick Graham is that guy. So we'll see what ends up happening, though. Speaking of the off off uh, offensive line, gallons over miles. Should the Raiders try to sign Dwayne Brown? Unfortunately, two, two, two reasons why I'm going to say no to this one. One, Dwayne Brown's a left tackle. He's not going to play right tackle. Second reason, maybe he plays right tackle. You're going to pay him a lot of money. Second reason is I think he goes to the Jets. So he had a visit with the Jets on Monday, and there's already some mutual interest. If you watched our live show from Chat Sports on Monday as well, I broke down some free agency destinations. I predicted Dwayne Brown to go to the Jets. So I think he ends up signing with New York, and he, the, the Raiders will need him to play right tackle, and he's a left tackle. So what do you think about this, y'all? Name a player, one player, that you think right now, you're Josh McDaniels or Dave Ziegler, you get on your phone, you got that old-fashioned phone, you know what I mean? I don't even know how it works, but it's like, who are you calling? Who are you going to try to get into the silver and black to rep that shield for the Raiders week one? I'll be looking in the comments. Let's go to B-Ray. What up, my dog? Mitch, do you think, is taking things a little personally? Uh, I want as many reporters reporting on my Raiders not winning. It's not official yet. And that's what Big J does, man. I'm not going to get into it too much with him. I'm trying to get past it. But I will say this. If you go to any Raiders beat reporters Twitter right now, their job is to cover the team. Some people don't even tweet a whole day. How do you go a whole day without tweeting? How do you go two days, three days without keeping you guys up to date? 
How many people talked about the Raiders working out Danny Shell? And how many people talked about the Raiders working out the running back that they did on Tuesday? You know, I got a commitment. I know a lot of other people do too. So that that's my thoughts on it. What up, Abraham? Where's Waller's contract at? Will we wait till we get an offensive tackle and defensive tackle? They're being ultra patient on this, right? And I don't know if Waller's missing practices because of this. Remember, this was recorded on Tuesday, so keep that in mind if anything does change. I'm going to sit up here and say if the Raiders were smart, they would extend Darren Waller or give him a pay raise. So I'm hoping it happens before the season. And I'm hoping. What up, Jeff? How much cap space do we have left? At this current juncture, the Raiders, I believe, have 22.5 or 22.6 million in salary cap space. And that is per over the cap. They are behind only the Cleveland Browns, who have over 49 million. So there's a big gap. But the Raiders do have the second most, as I am currently recording this video right now. What up, Julius? You're next up here on the Raiders Sport. Who has more catches this season, Waller or Renfro? Well, I do think that Adams leads the team with catches this upcoming season. And then in terms of if I was a betting man, I mean, if I was a betting man, I'm going to put probably money on Renfro because of the way that the offense is going to run through McDaniels. I think it's going to be really close. Like, I know there's a lot of people out there that think Devontae Adams is a locked and loaded to have over 100 catches. I'm going to put him probably at somewhere around 100, 105 grabs. After that, though... To me, Waller and Renfro could both be around 75. And if you have three players with over 75 catches, that's really, really impressive. It does not happen often, especially when you're also going to run the football the way that the Raiders are. I'm going to put my money on Renfro, but it also would not surprise me if it's Waller at all. All right, y'all, if you haven't already, remember Instagram, Twitter. You can always fill up my DMs. You know what I'm talking about over there. Also, to make sure you stay up to date, news rumors going on around the Raiders. Like, even if on my off days, I'm posting stuff over there because my job, the reason why it's 365 is because I take a lot of pride in keeping you guys up to date in 365 days out of the year. Let's go to Michael Correa. Mitch, what do you think about the Broncos now being owned by Starbucks, Walmart, and uh, Condoleezza? You know, I would say that you should ask Matthew Peterson. He runs our Broncos channel, and there's some people over there who would probably say, let's ride to this, but I don't really care, man. If they're going to be able to spend some money, let them spend some money. They have some extra things to throw it around. Raiders have also been doing the right things as well, right? The Raiders, since they've moved to Las Vegas... They have gone up 209% in terms of overall value. I think Jeremy wants to chime in here, and I think I know why. What up, Shane? FKC, F the Donkeys, FAB, FLAC. Raiders! Chuck just had a heart attack. Just win, baby, 13-4 this season. How do we feel about the preseason? I feel like it's pretty important. I think it's important to see what players can potentially make a roster. And I think the greatest example of this was uh, last last season, I went to Top Golf with Nick Wachowski. I got to sit down with him, old Raiders linebacker, and he told me what preseason meant to him. And for a lot of these UDFAs, this is your shot to try to make a roster. This is your shot to try to live a dream. So for players like Darian Butler, for somebody like a Bryce Cosby, for somebody like a Sam Webb, which from what I understand, those three UDFAs have been playing pretty well, this is your chance to make a team. So I get it. A lot of y'all don't really care about the preseason. But I do think that really good NFL teams are solid 53 players. You have that extra depth in, in case somebody goes down and preseason go a very, very long way. So, Shane, I appreciate you. I also appreciate the people that take a lot of pride in trying to be one of the very, very first people that comment on a Raiders Report video. I like to call y'all my Nodi gang. So, shout out to Raiders for life. Hi, May Alvarado Sr., Diego Torres, Stephen Williams, Justin Evans, much love to all of y'all. If you want to see your name, picture, featured on a future Raiders Report video, turn those notifications on by clicking on that bell. Click all. And then when I drop a video, get in the comment section as quick as possible. Just get in there. Blow it up. What up, Shane? Hey, Mitch, which player do you think that was on your loser list will have a big game next preseason? Please beat New England. So in terms of who are some of my losers, I believe I had Brandon Parker. He's out. Oh, boy. Patrick B., he wants a shot. 
We got Jarrett Stidham. He was a winner. No, it was Nick Mullins. The defensive tackles. I mean, I'll say defensive tackles. I'm hoping play a little bit better. But I'm also hoping that there's some extra, extra guys out there. We'll see. I, I'll say out of all the losers, I'm going to hope that defensive tackle is a bigger one. Patrick B. Oh. From the oh. top row. Patrick B. Today's MV Patrick. <laughs> MVP stands for Patrick B. Let's have some fun, Mitch. I love being an underdog going into the season. Car needs to just ball out and have an MVP season with the AFC Championship game at the least. I'm ready for this season. I did say on Twitter yesterday, I believe, that I, I think right now the best parlay in sports betting is Derek Carr for MVP and the Raiders to win the AFC West. If you were to do that, like let's say you risk $10, you win almost $1,000, I, I believe is what it is right now. And the reason why I think it's one of the best bang for your bucks is because if Derek Carr wins the MVP, the Raiders win the AFC West because of all that competition in there. Obviously, it's not likely to happen. It could happen. Carr was an MVP frontrunner last year, but I do think it's a very interesting parlay that I know that I would make right now if I was all y'all out there. So Patrick B., everyone, raise a glass to Patrick B. Type PB down in the comments. Cheers to you, my guy. Last question here. Any news on Deron Harmon? He looks good. He's playing really well. He had an interception today. I believe Sam Webb and coverage tipped the ball up to him. Harmon came down with the interception. I will say, though, uh, I've, I've talked to a few people. They've told me Jonathan Abram has played a lot better. So he's going to be a dude that I keep in mind because early on in minicamp, OTAs, training camp, it was Deron Harmon this, Deron Harmon that. He's out playing Abram. Sounds like Abram over the past few days of practice has started to impress a little bit more. I'm hoping that he fills this like Jabril Peppers box safety role, which is what Patrick Graham utilized last season with the Giants. Harmon looks good, and he's going to play well, but Jonathan Abram is also starting to play well, which definitely makes me pretty happy. All right, y'all, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do so because we are going to get ready to end this live show. Remember, though, every single Tuesday we do Raiders Report Live, so hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications.